Hey guys, this is Captain Rush from Local Knowledge. And today I wanna to talk to you a little bit about cutting longfish, kingfish, wahoo. We're gonna go through a short demonstration here, show you guys how to do it. First thing you're gonna do, you're gonna make your initial cut, right? That's that 45 right here, right behind the peck fin, okay? Obviously wahoo are real soft fish. You don't have to put a lot of pressure on them. Then I like to spin my fish around a little bit. All right, be careful, they have sharp teeth. Then I'm just gonna cut right down along the dorsal all the way down to the tail, okay? Boom. Now, people do it different ways. What I like to do is now take it in sections depending on how big the fish is. So I'm gonna take a third. Cut right down, boom, come back around. Let me just move this, all right. All the way down through the belly. All right, I'm back around. So now I'm ready to start taking my sections off the fish. Just lift up a little bit and I'm just laying the blade of the knife right along that backbone. Cut more, it's a little small for this guy. Laying it right along the backbone. Popping it off. Nice, clean section right there. See how easy that comes off? Come up, take my second section. Boom. Right down along the backbone. Like I said, you don't need much pressure. These fish are so soft. The knife cuts right through it. Pull it back. Boom. Last section right here. Right up along the backbone. Down. I like to come over top of the ribs at this section. See how I'm leaving the ribs along the fish, on the fish? I like to come right there, a couple little cuts. So now I've taken the fish into three sections. So now, I'm just gonna get rid of this guy for a second. And I'll come right here to my tail section. And what I like to do, everybody has their own personal preference. Some people like sashimi, some people like to grill it, some people like to saute it, however you like it. Well now you can take it and cook it in all these different ways. So I'll just take this back section off and you can use that for whatever you want. Let's say here you like just meat, no skin. I'll come right down along the bloodline, then lay my knife super flat so I'm not getting any skin, and take it off just like that. See that nice loin you get there? Then I'll come back later on, I'll clean that red off. Okay, so that's one section, that's one way. I'll come to this middle section, get rid of a little bit of this excess, and then I'll take this just like this, and I'll make a slice down. But if you notice, I'm not going all the way through the skin. I'll make another even slice, separate it there. That one went all the way through, open it up, and look how pretty that is. It's like a pork chop, you get those medallions right there, four sections, that's great for grilling. Okay, so you got those two different ways to cut it now. Okay, now if you like pork, if you like the chops, you take this section, make a couple chops, or you come back, and you can just cut that loin off again. See how pretty that is? All clean, fresh, white meat. And that's how I cut wahoo.